Let's discuss a carbon block filter, one of the largest sold units today, which gives people a false sense of security that they're cleaning their water up. What does a carbon block filter do? A carbon block filter does adsorption. It adsorbs VOCs, volatile organic compounds, which are carbon-based insecticides, pesticides, herbicides, etc. And it reduces chlorine and chloramine from the water. Carbon block filters do not touch the acid in the water. They do not touch the disinfection byproducts in the water. They do not touch the chemicals in the water, and they don't touch the hormones, steroids, antibiotics, and personal care products in the water. A carbon block filter is not acceptable as a standalone filtration system. Reverse osmosis cleans most of the total dissolved solids out of the water but it doesn't touch acids because acids are liquids and gases and they pass right through the membrane. Reverse osmosis water is known as aggressive water because there's no alkalinity and just the acids are in the water. RO water eats into copper, lead, and galvanized pipes. You could imagine drinking pure sulfuric and nitric with no alkalizing minerals. Some people even get a reverse osmosis and they run the water over a calcium cartridge and they claim to be ionizing the water, adding ions to the water. Well, you can add ions to the water and raise the pH up, but they never took the acid out of the water. This water has acids in it and inorganic calcium is everywhere and we don't want to consume it. Let's talk about distilled water. Distilled water is basically equal to RO water, reverse osmosis water. Acids are gases and they evaporate and they end up on the other side with the chlorine. So distilled water was minus the total dissolved solid still has the acid and the chlorine in the water. Distilled water is dead water and it will leach minerals from your body. The acids will eat your bones up. Distilled water is used for batteries. It used to say, not for human consumption, but we got bamboozled into drinking it. Do not drink distilled water. Let's discuss a water ionizer and how they work. I don't want to badmouth ionizers because they were a great step for the human race. They taught us. If you take the acid out of water, they use electrolysis and the positive attracts a negative, negative acid positive, which pulls the acid out of the water. And we found that they were getting phenomenal health results. People were getting rid of cancer. People were getting off of medications, ionized water. It was the huge craze. But we studied and we found that just taking the acid out of the water was a major major step for the human race. But as we studied, we found out that the ionizer is basically acid-free tap water. The ionizer uses electrolysis to remove the acid, and then it runs the water over a carbon block filter, which does, again, adsorption. It adsorbs volatile organic compounds, carbon-based pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, chlorine, and chloramine. It doesn't touch the hardness in the water. It doesn't touch the disinfection byproducts, the chemicals, the 82 hormones, steroids, antibiotics, personal care products, and drugs. A water ionizer is acid-free tap water.